Hi Aries, how's it going? How you doing? This is a general reading for the month of March. Um, I'm picking up on collective energy, so if this message doesn't fit for you, don't make it fit. Um, we're just going to do a basic reading on love, life, mental stuff that's going on with you and everything in between. Uh, let's start with a prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, thank you for getting us up for another day, not promised. Thank you for everything that you give to us, all the guidance, love, and signs that you show us to support us on our journey moving forward. Please give us the best guidance. Only let those that walk in the light in. Best guidance for Aries Recovery Collective. What do my Aries recovery signs need to know at this time? Okay, so let's start with love. Let's start with love. Okay, what is going on for Aries in love? What is going on for Aries in love? Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, it looks like someone's wanting to, t wanting to give you an offer. Um, someone's definitely been looking at your social media. This could be you. The, keep in mind, the energies can always exchange. Um, this could be you stalking someone's social media. <laughs> um, this feels like another person, though. This doesn't feel like you. But if it is, just reverse the energy. Um, okay. You're coming in as the wounded warrior with the nine of wands, okay? This is somebody who's been beaten up, battered, and is a little broken, but they're still getting up for the fight. They're still wanting to win. They're still moving forward in true Aries fashion. Um, there is some delays with the future. Um, I'm going to get some clarity on that when it comes to marriage or commitment. Uh, that's confirmation from spirit. If you hear that from my phone... Okay, three of wands. What's this delay? Please, clarity. Oh, okay. This delay isn't happening because you're not moving forward. You're isolating. Hermit reversed. Interesting. I feel like there's someone here that you haven't quite gotten over yet or the door hasn't been fully closed. Um, for others of you, this could be a relationship where... The person is very slow moving. They're not really giving you any hints of wanting to be committed as far as marriage goes. What's this nine of wands? Let's get some clarity on that. Wish fulfillment, king of pentacles. Yep, okay. So there's someone from the past that's still constantly playing on loop in your head. And with the hair font, you had very high hopes for this individual. Um, and you could still have very high hopes for this individual, but for some reason you're isolating yourself. Why are you isolating? Why, why is Aries isolating? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, there's multiple people that showed up on the board. I got one king and two queens. King of Wands shows that they, you're very passionate. You're definitely in your energy, but you're split between two people. Passion. Passion and security. That's what I feel like the issue is going on here. Um, passion and security. So there may be somebody that you are definitely passionate towards, and it would be considered a true pair. Um, I keep hearing something about practicality, though. Um, maybe you feel like this person wouldn't be a practical choice in the future, and that's why you want to go for Queen of Wands, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Um, but keep in mind that the energies are always fluid here okay it's not masculine or feminine when i say the queen i just mean someone that has more of a quiet disposition somebody who um some uh, queen of pentacles would be an energy represented by somebody who is very stable um i'm also getting that, th that this person allows income to come to them so this person could be someone on social media this could be someone who um does work through the internet and then this queen of wands is somebody that almost feels like a friends with benefits but there's a lot of fighting that goes on it's like a love-hate relationship so you're torn in between passion and security 
Okay, let's do some guidance on this. Oh, Aries, what's going on? Okay, let's do some guidance. Spirit, what guidance do you have for my Aries at this time in love? What guidance do you have for Aries at this time in love? Okay. They're warning you that if you think with your penis, you're going to get your heart broken. And if you don't have a penis, if you think with your pants. How about that? Because <laughs> I'm not going to say the other P word. Um, they really want you to communicate and, and figure out what your feelings are towards this person. What do you want in the future? Um, there's a need to... There's a need to find practicality within yourself. But you're giving yourself these illusions and you're bound by other people because you're not willing to get a clear idea of what you truly want. Um, and that's the issue that's going on here. So Spirit is recommending to go within and figure out what, what you truly need, what you want in a partner, what you want moving forward into the future. Also, if you're thinking about security or if you, you're thinking about staying with somebody out of security, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't settle. Settling is for the weak of heart. And Aries, you are a lot of things, but weak of heart is not one of them, okay? Uh, what love messages do we have for Aries? What love messages do we have for Aries? At this Whoa. Give your relationship a chance. Now, mind you, these messages are all going to be for you. I'm all about free will. I'm just giving you the information below the surface that you see, okay? So I'm never going to tell you absolutely go one way or another because I always believe in free will. <sighs> the person that you could be struggling with, um, you do have a past life relationship with, and that's why you feel so bound, and that's why you feel secure with this person. But that's not necessarily the best choice because you're always going to have a hidden resentment. And it's going to feel like that hidden resentment is towards them, but it's not. It's towards yourself because you're not going with what your heart truly wants. Sometimes we need to go through relationships and sometimes we need to go through love-hate relationships in order to learn the lesson to defend ourselves, okay? Um, and I don't mean defend ourselves like in a physical way. I mean, we learn, we learn through relationships... Um, we learn to set boundaries for ourselves. We learn to prioritize ourselves and figure out what we want first so that we're not confusing all the people around us. Um, Cause I'm definitely feeling like a butterfly effect here with the Aries that I'm picking up on. Um, and when I say butterfly effect, I mean like the actions, the actions that you do today could bring consequences years down the line. And there needs to be a recognition of that. There also needs to be a recognition of the anger and resentment that you hold towards yourself for the choices that you've made in relationships. This is not a time. This is not a time to pity yourself. This is not a time to shame yourself. This is a time to move forward in your relationships with strength and clarity and conviction to know what you want and to be in the highest good of all. Not every relationship looks perfect. But there is a need to bring clarity to the table with this, with this certain situation. Um, okay, so that's love. Now let's do work. Okay, what does my Aries Collective need to know about work? What does my Aries Collective need to know about work in March 2021? March of 2021. Work, work, work. Please give us messages about work. Okay. We're learning. Okay. This is pretty cool. So you're basically going through the unknown. You're going through... You're going through uncharted territory right now, especially when it comes to work. You're learning how to become your own boss. Um, 
this is I'm talking to I'm talking to some strong ass people that have made a lot of sacrifices and didn't know what the outcome was going to be but they did it anyways they move forward anyways towards their, their goals and accomplishments um with high priestess reversed i feel like their secrets i feel like everything that you're doing right now isn't quite being revealed yet um whether that be a project at work whether that be starting your own business whether that be incorporating something new into your business um if there's not a lot happening right now or you don't feel like things are going at the pace that you want them to it's because spirit wants you to rest and heal because all of those decisions all those sacrifices that you made in all that hidden secrecy is not a finished story yet and i'm also being told that don't worry about what other people think about this situation because you're not completely ready to reveal it yet this is something this is something for a lot of you i feel like this is something that's very near and dear to your heart and i'm also hearing that this is something you were literally created for so how is anybody going to understand it when you're the first person to come along and show them what it is. Um, it may look like a cluttered mess right now with everybody around you and taking all these risks, but you know exactly what risks you're taking and you're leaning on your faith. That's something that's not a lot of people can do. So of course you're gonna be ostracized for it because not a lot of people have the courage to do exactly what you're doing right now. And you're probably thinking to yourself, I didn't, I, I didn't want to do this. I don't want people, you know, I don't want this chaos around me. I don't, um, but you have to acknowledge that your soul chose that because you're unique, because you're meant to express something that's very specific to who you are as a person. This is a part of your mission. This is, you're thinking light years beyond, okay, most people. So not a lot of people are going to understand that right now. And that's okay. Where is all this leading to? Where is all this leading to for Aries? Where is all this leading to for Aries? Nice, nice. Okay, damn it. All right, so I do see you. <laughs> I, do, I do see you walking forward. There's still indecision going on in March. I'm gonna get the um, clarification on the Two of Swords reversed. But you're moving forward and you're doing what's necessary, okay? Mm, okay. It looks like some of you are having are having issues with family and work. Um, maybe some of you, maybe some of you, your family doesn't understand what's going on and why you're doing the moves that you're doing in order to work. Um, and it's almost like you feel like you have to sacrifice them, but you don't. You don't. There needs to be communication, um, communication moving forward about what's going on. But I do see this happening. I do see things working out. Nine of Cups. This is going to come out as the Nine of Cups. This is, this is coming into wish fulfillment, and you know that. You know that. But there's a need to stop looking into the past and worrying about past actions, past, past ways of doing things. All of this will be understood in time. All of it will be, I promise, okay? You would not be guided and directed to do this and something so different if it wasn't meant for you. Don't question that. The more that you grow into your passions and doing what you want to do, the more that they will be able to understand and see moving forward who you are and what you came here to do. That's the important part. This, all of this is leading to wish fulfillment for you. You have to let go of the way that you want to see your wish fulfillment. Sometimes spirit knows more than we do, um, especially when it comes to the entire story because time is still linear for us, thanks to Saturn. Um, so, uh, but it's all happening at once for them. So they know the entire story. So some of the steps that you make may not make sense, but as long as you're walking in faith, you're good to go. It will end up 
everything and more what you want. You just, while you're manifesting this project, I really highly re recommend letting go of the people, places, and things that you're trying to manifest and just manifest the feeling. Manifest the feeling of moving forward, what it would be like to be understood and seen, what it would be like to have your dream. And I feel like it's all panning out for you. Um, just taking it one day at a time is really, really going to be important right now. Patience and healing is the biggest thing on the docket currently. Okay. And lastly, we'll go to mental. What's going on mentally for the Aries Recovery Collective? What messages do we need for the Aries Recovery Collective? Okay, perfect. This is beautiful. Okay, so uh, it looks like you you pretty well accepted exactly where you're at at your at this point. Um, I feel like a lot of you have been traveling this journey. This journey started for a lot of you in 2020, and some for some of you it started long before 2020. But 2020 was like the real lift off of what happened because you finally were motivated to let go of those things that no longer served you, even if it was really painful. Um, Gratitude meditation is going to be really important right now. And also taking a look at your resentments, if you have any, or you feel like you need to work any out, because that's going to help, that's going to help clear some space for the new that's coming in. Queen of Wands and Emperor. Okay. Okay. So for a lot of you, I know you want to hear this and I'm going to tell you, your divine counterpart is coming, is very much coming. But for those of you who don't want to hear that or who don't care to hear that, whatever, um, Queen of Wands and Emperor, this is talking about you taking control of your life, no longer relying on anybody else for your happiness or what you need. This is beautiful. Okay. Okay. What guidance do we have for Aries Recovery Collective? What guidance do we need for the Aries Recovery Collective? Ha! A change in the wind in reverse. What's this about? Okay. There are conditions brewing in your life you have no control over. Don't fight them. Change is inevitable and is for the best, for the highest, higher good. Even if this storm blows away, the structures you, th you think you've built your dreams on, all will turn out as it should. Wait. Even if this storm blows away, the structures you think you've built your dreams on, all will turn out as it should. You will have a renewed clarity and strength to do something even better. Spirit is your ally. And what was I saying earlier in the reading? Walk forward in truth with spirit and you've got it all panned out. You're good. It may look a little weird, but there is no manual. There is no guidebook for how we do life. If you get a little frustrated, you get a little angry, it's literally in your cards, Aries, to deal with confrontation and to learn through that confrontation. It's okay if it looks a little messy right now. It's okay if it looks a little muddy right now. As long as you have clear sight on what you want and what your goal is, you will get there and you will succeed because it's in the cards for you. Anyways, have a happy March. I will see you in April. Bye.